So the analogy is you wouldn't make a cup of coffee while holding on to the coffee beans. The same goes with your thoughts and your ideas. Your mind is really good at brewing up ideas, but your mind is not really good at holding on to those ideas. Before I used tools like Notion and even this physical journal, which I still use today, to store my ideas. But as a programmer, you've mastered the tools of technology, so why not put those tools to good use? So recently I've been on this quest of trying to master the terminal, and during this journey, I discovered this really cool open source project by Mikhail Menu and other contributors as well called ZK. ZK stands for Zettelkasten, and it's basically a way of kind of managing your ideas and your notes through an index method. I won't go too much into what Zettelkasten is because there's so much information on YouTube on what it's about. I kind of want this video to be sort of a demonstration of ZK so you can kind of discover what it's about and you can utilize it yourself. So without wasting too much of your time, let's jump straight into the computer and I can sort of show you this really cool open source project called ZK. So we have the on GitHub here. I mean, it's a really cool project. I was looking at some of the issues and discussions and the main maintainer, uh, Mikhail Menu. I'm really sorry if that's, if you stumble upon this video, I'm really sorry if I pronounce your name incorrectly, but um, him and all the contributors here have um, done a really good job with the programming and code. Um, I mean, the, the main maintainer, he's really, really responsive on the issues and really, really nice as well with looking at all his discussions. Um, in terms of installation, I won't run through how to install it, but it's really, really simple. I mean, there's um, commands on here. There's really good documentation on how to set this up. Cause I'll kind of run through how I use it. But um, in terms of how to install it, everything like that, it's all on there. How you want to configure it yourself, it's all on there as well. Um, there's this extra project called Neuron, which is a way of publishing your notes uh, publicly. I wasn't able to get that to work. So if you guys maybe drop in the comments on how you got it to work, it'll be, it'll be interesting to know. Cause I had difficulty installing Neuron. I have difficulty using um, Nix on Mac OS. So kind of kind of gave up on that but ZK is able to provide most of my needs as well and I kind of want to use it into the future so and yeah I just want to say in terms of documentation it's all on there if you want to have a go um, and what I'll do is I will actually um, link all this in the description below so if you want to check out any of the links um, including even my configs and how I configure things my dot files will be in the um, description below if you're interested to have a look um, just be wary that if you try and google ZK there's actually a lot of other things that might come up so a common thing is um, this framework uh, JavaScript framework which has nothing to do with um, the ZK project so just be wary, wary of that so I guess um, Enough of me rambling on about um, how amazing this project is. Let's jump straight into actual code. So there's actually many uses of uh, ZK and I've customized it in a way that might be a bit confusing in the beginning, but I'll show you how it works in the end. So where all the notes are actually stored in is, is in this directory called notes, but I actually never have to access this directory because of the custom commands that Z ZK comes with. So I'll get out of that. Well, actually, actually I'll show you some of the, um, the files. So you can see these are all the actual notes that I've um, kept uh, clear. So we can actually get out of that and go into my home directory. So we're actually in my home directory now. And the, the thing I really use ZK for is creating daily entries. So there's a custom command called ZK daily. What this will do is if there's no um, daily sort of journal entry for today, it'll create one. And if, they're one that, if there's one that already exists for today, it will actually edit that one instead of creating a new one. So if I go into that, you'll see it comes in up in my journal here today. So this is nothing to do with ZK, but um, the things I'm trying to do is I'm trying to do focus on one big thing today. So that's filming this video. I'm trying to do gratitudes as well. So if you guys follow Hamza's content, so Hamza is a YouTuber here, he talks about doing gratitude journaling. So I use this for gratitude journaling, but I kind of want to use this as well for gratitudes as well, just to see how, if I'm writing the same things again. And the benefit obviously with computers and programming is that you don't have to, um, because when you write things down, it's hard to search up things you've written versus if you've typed on a computer, you can use a search function, which I'll show you guys in, um, in a second uh, and later, later in the video. So yeah, what I'm trying to do is gratitude journal here. And any thoughts or problems that I have for the day, I'll type it all into my daily journal here. So that's kind of how it works. So if I want to go into my previous journal entries, all I have to do is type in ZK journal. And this will kind of show all my previous journal entries that I have here today. Um, I won't go into it because some of them are actually quite personal. And you can see I've just started journal entry on the 21st of June. So I kind of want to do this. Hopefully this will be a daily practice, um, but we'll see how it goes. Now, another custom command is if I want to go back into a journal entry that I was in last, all I have to do is type in ZK ed last. And I'll go into my most recent um, thing that I've opened. And that you can see here is actually the script for this particular YouTube video which is quite funny. So I think I want a really cool functionality of ZK and this is where the key thing about Zettelkasten comes in. If we go into my journal entry, you can see that um, here there's actually a wiki link. So this is, this is unique to ZK. So the really 
important idea of Zillow casting. Not only is it a way of sort of storing your ideas and notes, because remember, your brain is really good at coming up with ideas, not holding on to them. So if you're able to leverage technology in a way that you can store your information, that frees up your mind to, come up, to think and come up with new ideas. But you also have this ability to link ideas together. So apparently if you're able to link your ideas together, that creates that increases your creativity so you're able to produce more ideas. And if I type in GD, which has nothing to do with um, ZK, it's a kind of a NeoVim LSP plugin, so GD, that takes me to the script of this video, which is which is what I linked it to. Um, so that's really cool. Great, so you're probably kind of wondering why we're talking about journaling and what about ideas you come up with? Let's say you come up with like an idea. Um, I've been reading a book called The Courage Should Be Disliked and a really cool idea I came up with that, or I read about in the book was, you actually it's actually in the title that if you want to be free and happy, you have to have the courage to be disliked. And that's an idea I kind of want to, don't want to really be thinking about, I want to store it away. So what do we do? Well, we can actually create a kind of a new kind of sort of idea or a new note. So this is actually another custom sort of command, which I'll show you at the very end. So ZKNE, which is similar to ZKNew, but um, ZKNE is kind of just a bit more customized. And I can create this note here, the courage to be disliked. And what they'll do is they'll create a new note. Um, this setup here is actually a template which I'll also show you at the very end. Um, and essentially that's the title there, which is set up, and we've got the date for today, which is automatically populated. A tag that I can give it is life book. And tags are really important because I'll show you at the very end where you can actually search up your post related to particular tags. So if I want to look up books, for example, that I've read or notes from books, I can just type in the particular search up the particular tag for this book. So let's add an idea here. So it talks about etiology, if I can spell it right. And it also talks about the main idea, whereas if you want to be to be free, you can't please everyone. You must have the courage to be disliked and that's a note I can store there so I can go out of that and if I want to go back into that note and edit it I can type ZK ed last which is the opens at the last one that was edited and there it is there if I want to link the ideas together I can just do square bracket square bracket and if I want to do let's say friends because that's another idea I'll be thinking about it will link that idea to friends and if I type in GL It'll show me that that's the particular idea that's being linked to this 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 new note here. I hope that makes sense. Now you're probably wondering, how do I look up ideas? I can't remember all my ideas. I find it, we can, it's, it's not convenient just to look at the most recent idea with it last. I've got another custom command. It's called ZKLS, and that brings up all my ideas here. And let's say if I want to go to hidden racism in New Zealand, I want to edit that so I can go all the way down to there. Or what's really cool is I can search things up. So if I go if I type in racism, and this uses another terminal system called FZF built in, and actually over here, this is BAT, which is like another another kind of um, terminal application. So if I go into that, I can look at this idea here, which is really, really cool. It's a really cool way of storing my ideas. Now, before we talked about the tags, this is where I've got yet another custom command, ZKT, which allows me to search up things by tags. Um, and if I go book, which is the, if you recall, that was the last, one of the last notes I made, it will list um, those particular um, notes with that particular tag. Another one is ZKT YouTube. So these are all my YouTube scripts here with that with that tag. Okay, now we've seen the demo of how I use ZK. What about the configuration files? Well, if we go into my dot files, and if I go into ZK, we can actually look at my configuration. Then config. And there's actually a default configuration that's provided in the documentation. So I basically use that and change it to my liking. The key things are the aliases, which I'll show you in just a moment. Here they are here. Most of them there. And I think the ones that I really used were edlast. So you can see it's ZK edit, which is the actual command. And this is actually provided by the um, default, default configuration. And this sort of uh, gets that last post and allows me to edit it. This argv is to do with um, fish, which is fish shell um, and you can see this is LS this is the the T which is actually an edit interactive so ZK edit means you want to edit a particular note interactive means you can go into that kind of menu mode where you can search through your particular um, the entire list and the dash dash tag is where I provide that tag like YouTube uh, book like you saw in the examples before um, I even have a command here that if I want to edit this configuration all I have to do is type in ZK config 
And you can see this is the daily entry for creating that the daily journal entry and the NE for creating a new note. I've also got NEY, which actually uses a different template for particular YouTube scripts. So if I want to create an idea, not just a general idea, but an idea for YouTube, I'd use NEY to use the YouTube template. And you're probably wondering, templates? What are these templates? So if I go into the configuration file, you can see that in templates, if I list them here, I'll just clear that list. So you can see that these are my three main templates that I use. So we've got daily for the journal, and we've got default for any sort of default idea, and this YouTube to YouTube um, template here. So I can show you those there if I go into it. So Vim daily, you'll see that that's the setup for the daily um, for daily journaling. So you can see I've got the goal of the day, my gratitude that I've got to enter in, my thoughts and reflections. We can even go into the YouTube version of it. That's YouTube there. So you can see that's similar to how the default ideas are set up, but I've also got um, extra things that I need for, for YouTube. Cool. And one final thing I want to show you guys is that if I go into my configuration file, so remember I, I had that custom command where I can go ZK config and I open up the configuration file. There's a special command called slides, which I think is really cool. So this actually creates, uh, you know, gets into that interactive mode where I can search through my particular um, notes. And it actually pipes it into another terminal program called slides. And slides is basically kind of like, think about PowerPoint, but for the terminal. And I can demonstrate that for you as well. So if we get out of that, and I type in ZK slides, if you look over here, you'll see these dash dashes. Those kind of indicate the particular slide. So if I want to show um, this as a slide, it will show that as a slide. You'll see what I mean when I when I go into the slides. So I could click enter, and you'll see that that's the first slide, that's the next slide, that's the slide after that, which I think is really cool. So I can create, if I want to do a really quick presentation, I can type up a presentation really quick and save it to my notes, and that will be a really good place to, uh, that I can kind of present the presentation while it's on my, my notes directory. Now you're probably wondering, what about the, where do I store this information? Is it just on my computer? Well, we know it's in that directory notes. I've also created yet another command called ZK update. And what they'll do is they will uh, use pre-commit to sort of fix up any um, white, trailing white spaces or um, if there's lots of character returns at the end of a file. Um, and it'll also, what it'll do, it will save it to a private repository, all this um, information here. So if anything would happen to my laptop, like it exploded or something like that, I can kind of, um, go back into my GitHub, my private repository and save those files. On top of that, um, if I want to if I want to use my phone, for example, I can go into my phone, go into my GitHub application on my phone, and I can look at that particular private repository if I want to look at some notes or anything like that. So guys, thanks for getting this far into the video. I know I go a bit wish-washy with me, kind of just typing in commands, but I really appreciate you guys getting this far. I kind of hope this video inspires you to use ZK or use a terminal just a wee bit more. I think it's quite useful. And this open source, this open source project is really cool, so I highly recommend checking it out, even contributing. I mean, I wish I was good enough to contribute, but yeah, it'd be really cool just to check it out. The link to this project will be in the link down below and once again guys check it out it's a really good idea once again to just store your ideas somewhere create links between ideas and i really hope it makes you better as a creator better as someone who just wants to store ideas and as programmers we have this amazing ability to use the computer to its full advantage so why not take it and as always guys just drop it down drop a comment down below let me know what you think let me know if you're interested if you want to check out this neovim configuration that i've got set up um, or if you're interested in more about neovim i'll link a video just over either here or here um, about my writing setup with hugo i'll also link a video about um, how to use vim as well um, and once again guys thanks for watching this video and as always guys stay focused and talk soon